Hello everybody, this is Vox and Sundry, and this is the unit design screen because that's what happens when I started my recording. Um, welcome back to pa Pax Nova. Um, I'm not actually going to get into this right now just because, well, might as well. So, um, Pax Nova has a unit design. So you don't just, so you can create the um, designs of all your units. You get your base, you can get, um, so you get infantry light armor, and armored vehicle, which basically, if you use this for anything but a scout, you're kind of silly. Uh, you can put weapons, armor, and special abilities on it, and then name it, and all that good jazz. I haven't found this super useful just because the base set of stuff you get, and that unlocks as you level up, is really useful. But so right now are the things we can we can construct a light infantry who's got a rifle and a loudspeaker which lets him pump himself up. We got a light tank, just got a cannon. He doesn't. Ah, uh, no, I'm not gonna throw that on here. Artillery tanks. These are gonna be fairly useful because they are the first units we're gonna get. Uh, they have long range. They can attack without being attacked. Um, doesn't help when so the next thing comes up in their face, but it's useful until then. And Vanguard, because even in the future, uh, having a guy hack you apart with a sword just is not a good time. Anyway, back to the main... The main meat of this game. So, um, and the main meat right now is that we're waiting. Except for, are, are we interested in, tr in trade initiatives for technocracy? Ooh, if you were doing this at another time, I might say yes, but we're already recent researching technocracy was probably not very good for you. What does the actual math say? It says they're equal. So it says they're equal, but since we are already researching it, we're not going to have a good deal. So I'm going to say not a chance. That will probably annoy him. Um, but that is as it is. Because yeah, we, we're going to get this next turn. So it's, it's not worth it for us to give them that. All right. And there's an autosave. I don't know why it asks you if you want to overwrite your autosaves. That feels like something they should have gotten rid of. So technocracy. This will let us get a different leadership type, which obviously lets us get better um, research, which is, again, very useful if you're blitzing the tech tree or really if you're just trying to uh, research stuff. I will probably be switching to this reasonably soon. In fact, can I do it like... I probably can't do it right away because we need liberalism and pragmatism. We don't have either of those right now, but let's see. So right now we are getting 58 per turn. So yeah, um, so I'm going to activate free healthcare. So this is going to get us plus two liberty, which is fairly decent, and also increases prosperity in every city we control by plus one. It's going to cost us five credits, but A, we have lots of money, and B, it, it will be very, very worth it. So now that's just passively on. We can turn that off if that, that five credits a day, or rather five per city, because eventually we're going to have a lot of cities, but it's we can turn it off if we want to. We will lose the liberty when we do that, and that will mean we can't then change to certain... So like right now, we could immediately change to laissez-faire, which will increase prosperity by one for every two residential districts and increase harmony growth. Um, so that's fairly reasonable. But, um, not super useful right now, but the thing is, is that the Terran Republic, their seal is, and their, which is to say their special ability, is that whenever they, um, change leadership, they gain Inspired, which improves influence growth by 0.2 for 20 turns. So we're basically going to want to change our, <laughs> we're basically going to want to change our leadership as much as possible, at least at the early game. Um, looking over the rest of the screen, um, technological error is how much we've researched, capital city is, and homeworld is just that. Controlled cities, how many cities and how many planets, pretty easy. Might, that'll be a, a, um, measurement of how much our military is growing, and that'll be a nice, it'll be nice to be able to compare that when we start deciding we need to beat people up. And knowledge is how much technology we have. Base score, I'm not actually sure how this works because I have seen some really weird things. And then the road to victory. Like any good Forex game, there are plenty of ways to win 
Pax Nova. So, um, like I said, we'll be going for the quest victory. So we've got to go um, through... I don't think it's... it's I'm not sure if this is saying I've done... Yes, I've done two of the 11 quests so far. No. I am second out of 11 here. No. I'm not even sure what that means. I'm on quest two of 11, I guess. Yeah, this makes me look smart. Anyways, you also have the option of dominating. Just beat everyone up. Uh, seals. You are the first person to hold 70% of all seals, so you have to have nine of them. Um, so normally you get a seal when you... Um, completely wipe out a civilization so or a faction so it's kind of like a prerequisite to domination but other people if anyone else is beating people up they're going to have multiple seals um and you can also trade them although i have not yet seen the ai be willing to do that for obvious reasons even but even um ones that aren't their own because if you lose your own seal basically everyone realizes you're a putz and no, you, um, not holding your respective seal carries a heavy penalty with respect but yeah so you can also science so get to the end of the the um tech tree and build a special um building will get you um a new not a new but that will that will give you a win uh if you are an alliance with everyone who's alive you win and um, if you reach a certain score marker, you win. So, but like I said, we're going to be going for quest, and that will be that. But we got new research now that we have finished technocracy. Um, medical miracle. No, I don't want because that was that was going to the fertilizer. Um, I trying to think whether or not I want to keep going on science right now. I think I want to go for the anti-corruption. Um, for right now, I'm gonna go for that because it's eh, it's not actually not super useful. Um, I'm gonna go for the pragmatic thinker though. That would be another leadership type, and it helps us um, increase our treasury and our labor, which is both both of which are quite good. All right, next turn he is fully healed, so we're gonna continue exploring with him. Hopefully, meet someone else i would imagine we've got four factions on this planet although it's possible someone has already somehow managed to blitz a city i don't actually think that's super possible but we'll see sometimes the ai cheats although this is normal so hopefully they're not cheating too much again ignoring the items of interest for right now and yes here we have another civilization let's go say hi to them Yes, and these guys, so the Aeon Cult, they are not human. So, we, can, we can't do anything except declare war. I guess you would shoot them in the face and they would decide that that is declaring war. Um, so, what we want to do is we actually are going to stop researching city defense systems and go to studying Corvus communications. This will let us have actual diplomacy with them, which is obviously good. Um, more osmium, more fire right. Ooh, there's two osmium over here. This might actually be an even better place to put a city. Ooh, and these are really nice. Buried bones or really any kind of planetary landmark. Uh, add plus one to research to all tiles adjacent to it. That's pretty decent. They do a lot of different and fun things. They can be really useful for specializing your cities. Of course, this guy's next to mountains, which, like I said, are useless. You cannot do anything on mountains. You cannot, um, if your city grows, so you can see our city has grown, so we can now build stuff on these tiles. Um, um, if your city grows on a mountain, you can't do anything with them. Um, the only good thing about mountains is that industrial districts want to be built next to them. But even then, like, you, they're, they're more trouble than they're worth, like, right now, like, we are almost certainly going to be... Our city is almost certainly going to expand into a mountain after this, which is going to be fairly useless. Um, but it is what it is. And we've got a fairly decent start already, so I'm not going to complain too, too hard. Um, it's not really... Yes, actually, it is. Because I was going to say it's not worth it for me to build anything right now because I'm not going to have a civilization... A citizen... Not civilization. A citizen to man it. And if you build something and don't have a citizen on it, it's basically 
doesn't do anything for you. But um, I will in two turns. So we're going to build a residential district. We're going to build that over here. And that should... Not only will that um, have encourage our city to grow, it will encourage our city to grow in this direction. Which is... Like I said, like these these are all tiles we can actually use as opposed to mountains, which again, useless. But continue to explore. We've got another faction. I think these guys are going to be the yes, the Temple Order uh, humans. These guys are more aggressive. Um, we have enough for to establish first contact, and I think I want to establish it with these guys because these guys are going to be the most likely to get belligerent on us later. So, let's do that. Um, oh, we've got another um, one of these. Knowing where all these are is going to be useless, useless, useful for later for our fourth quest, which we will see later. Oh, and considering the fourth quest, ooh. Uh, how long until City goes? 24 turns. All right, that'll be... We don't need to rush anything for right now. I'm getting ahead of myself. Next turn. Scouts moving around. Our scout moving around. Oh, I guess I haven't talked about this guy. So this is a ether anomaly. Uh, if As long as this is within your city's border, so you don't even need to build a building on it, um, you get some ether generation. Like I said, these are good for special abilities, mostly later in the game, but um, they're also fairly decent for trade. Um, so that, that's useful. And then this right here is a nest. Um, this will spawn creatures, um, which isn't good. So we're going to want to destroy that later once we actually decide to start building a um, military, which I think will be the next thing after we've finished. Um, I'm going to actually start building this now. It will. We won't be able to use it right away. It will basically say like, hey, you can't, I mean, we can build it, but we can't use it until afterwards. Also, that just got rid of that um, anomaly. I didn't quite realize that would happen. But like I said, they're not super good, so I don't super care. Um, but I suppose I should actually, ugh, there's, a, there's a huge risk and not much reward. So no, I'm not actually going to do anything. This anomaly is reduces pollution. So pollution is also a thing in this game. Um, so we can see up here, and you saw this a couple times when I was looking for it before. Average pollution generated. This shows who is generating pollution, and this up here is the total pollution. So when this planet's pollution, which is 45, it gains highly polluted, which reduces prosperity, makes it hard to grow, and at that point, whoever is creating the most pollution can be condemned, which freezes their influence growth for 10 turns. This is devastating if it happens to you and you actually want to be able to do things with other civilizations. I mean, even declaring war. Um, I should also point out, so these are the... These are the resources we have on here, on this planet. We've got osmium for lasers, pyrite for armor, ethereum for healing. Um, planet is colonizable. It has 15% of the planet has a research to pr product research production, that's which is fairly nice. And there's lots of ether on this planet, which is makes it a fairly decent planet to start out with. Of course, we and three others have started here, so... Uh, but there should be one more. Oh, good. Lots. Wow. This point, this planet has two. That's, uh, that's unusual. And they go to different planets. Like, this could actually be pretty, this could be pretty interesting. Because these are, and then, just like any Stargate, um, these are two-way. So, um, if whoever's on the other side of this, again, this won't happen anytime soon, but if whoever's on the other side of this decides they don't like us, uh, they can use these to start sending their army at us, and that will not be fun. But, for right now, that that's in the future. And the bugs don't like us, so let's get away from them. Um, I think I'm going to start building... Uh, how long until we get another citizen? That'll be 11 turns. will actually work out pretty well. I'm not going to build any 
um, military intel then. But we have another thing of research because we finished that. Um, we are going to study the Templar Order, which will improve our trust with them by six and gives us more knowledge, which again, I mean, that's like every technology gives you knowledge. But uh, this is also somewhat cheaper than most technologies. Although not battle engines. Um, and I, but I can get... No, I'm actually going to get these first because I'm going to want these before I start building my military up. Also, one thing I've noticed, I don't know if this is just me, but um, I feel like the enemies in this game are way more persistent than other enemies. Also, these guys, Slust, these guys suck. They are really powerful, and they are going to decimate anything that tries to fight them in the early game. And you can see that there's... It's all one model for ships, which I feel is set, but we'll see if that improves later on. I didn't know you could just stand on those. I wonder if that's the AI cheating. I'm going to try and skirt around this guy, have him not get mad at me. You have developed Medicine Miracle. Were you looking for trade? Ooh, yes, yes, that sounds really good. Um, I think it says it's bad for me, that it's not worth that, but um, I don't care about money. This seems good. I love being able to buy technology off, the, off other races. It's so much easier than doing it any other way. Alright, so, and then we still have one more civilization, right? No. No, the Aeon Cult. Right, I forgot about them. So that's everyone. For right now, we're just going to continue exploring. Battle Engines. This gives us um, some missile launchers and the ray gun, which is what I mainly want. These are really powerful. Um, they need the osmium, um, which makes them less useful than certain other, like just like say the the missile launcher, which is just forty five, and it does it, it it does less damage, but you don't need a the resources to build it, so it's a lot easier. But um, the 30 plus damage at this point in the game is a huge difference. Also, it can irradiate them, which is basically a poison, which is pretty great. So, we're going to continue exploring, choosing research. Uh, I think now, now I'm going to study the Templar Order. Actually, no, I think I'm going to start, because I think I might actually, what I might actually want to do is wipe out the Eastern Confederacy just because I can. Um, let me check Diplomacy, or Eastern Resistance, because they're... Mm, so their seal is fairly decent. They don't like us, though, is sort of the thing. So they're probably going to want to attack us at some point anyway. So I think... I think biting this in the bullet, or biting this in, nipping this in the bud, good lord, uh, early is going to be a good idea, but I think that's, nah, it's, it's not, hasn't been that long. I'm gonna keep going for a little bit longer for this episode. And again, uh, tell me, uh, you guys, how, what you guys think about episode length, uh, how I'm doing, I'm sure I'm not doing great to start with. But hopefully you guys are still having fun, maybe learning a little about the game. Hopefully we're all having a good time. I guess speaking of learning about the game, I should point this out before I just forget it. Paths. So in Pox Nova, um, you have paths you can go down. And as you go down them, you'll get special abilities. Um, so they are the path of um, Gaia, which is basically about not polluting and making the planet nicer for you. Um, there is the path of uh, Bliss, which is about making everyone like you, including your own civil citizens. The path of Null, Enlightenment, which is all about knowledge, and the path of Embers, which is about war. Um, so you can get up to rank four in every one of these, but you can only get the last rank, rank five, in one of them. As soon as you get that, everything else goes away. You can't get anything else. And obviously, but that will obviously be quite a bit later. And mostly, it's not really a uh, compromise. You probably have seen in some of the other actions I've done that, like, most of the technologies I research and most of the um, 
and the oh and I don't I think it's uh, yeah I can change leadership and I missed that so I want to go to laissez faire mostly because it's the only one I can do right now and it will help me grow it will actually get me anything which is a um, positive and will also proc my um, my seal so that's good um, I can pass. Yeah, nothing I really want to do right now. I probably want to... I'm going to want to do this sooner rather than later. But I don't have the influence for it right now. Although this... Sh I should be getting more than plus one. Uh, let's... I'm going to change turns and see if that went up by more than one. Um, oh. Oh, I'm not happy with them blackmailing us. But I have plenty of monies. We're happy to help a friend in need. Whatever. All right. So our city has now grown to level three. We get some Path of Bliss and our next one. And this is why I was going to build our military up because we need to destroy a nest. So the creatures, creatures from a grabber nest close on right are roaming the city and our citizens are very nervous about their presence, the danger they present to the city. Destroying this nest will make our citizens feel much safer and help them focus on what's important, building a great city. It's kind of ironic, like maybe later, but right now um, the creatures will not attack a city. I don't know if they can't, but they won't. I, or at the very least, I've never seen them do that. Also, I should probably make sure which exactly city, um, grab her nest. So that one. All right. So... We are going to wait two turns. Um, no, actually, we're going to take the citizen off there. Put them on... What? Why, why can't I... Yes, I want to take the citizen off there. And I want to put them on there. Why won't you let me do this? I want my citizen there. All right, fine, I guess... It will automatic. Okay, I don't know what what's going on there, um, but in two more turns, we should. It should automatically be assigned over there. I don't think it's saying that. Oh, these aren't connected. You can't put citizens there. If they are, I'm going to feel very silly. Um, but for right now, I guess we're just going to wait a turn or two. Great use of your current maps, Osnim. Sure. Right now, the maps aren't super important. They're going to be later when we get into space, and then people are going to be like, ah, where are the good planets? But for right now, we'll probably leave them. Uh, speaking of which, we have pretty much explored the entire map. So I think I'm going to have my scout park basically right here. And I'm going to make this a city later on so that I can get... This Osmium myself, I should pro my city will be able to expand into this pyrite. Um, that should work out pretty well. So I'm just going to have you sit there so I can remember where I was thinking of putting this city once I eventually decide to. All right, so Wright has this new citizen. So yes, they have... Now you can build military units. Now if you're like me, you're probably like, okay, I can build military units. Where? I don't see them here. I mean, I could build a settler, but I don't want to do that right now. Where are my units? You have to actually click on the military district. So we're going to start... I mean, we can, so let's build a shock trooper, which is one who has the ray damage. We're also going to build two vanguard. And we're going to let them... I don't feel like waiting. I have lots of money. I mean, to be fair, I have 55 per turn. That actually is pretty good. So we're just going to build and buy all these. We'll get them next turn. Start to get them next turn. So this is our first unit, our shock troopers. Pretty decent, especially against uh, the buggers we're about to be fighting. So we've built them. They've moved. We've started the Temple Order. They're trusting of us now, which is good. So hopefully they will be less likely to try and extort us in the future. So we're going to just have them keep moving. We have uh, our Vanguard, which are faster than our other units, so they're going to keep up easier. Um, they're also, but they're not as um, powerful, but works either way. And then we'll get 
Uh, we'll get some research. What do I want at this point? Um, I want get passive embers. Renewable energy is kind of nice. I'm gonna go for pragmatic thinking. That will be really nice because the main way what you want to do with the Terrans is that you want to basically build up your city so you got a lot of production and then switch to one of the leadership types that increases your income based on those um, into industry districts and you're basically just gonna have a crazy amount of money you're gonna be able to build things really fast and basically the game will be your oyster the life's your oyster all right, so this will be our first. We're not going to be able to attack these guys quite yet. Actually, no, we will because no, we won't. They're still not fast enough. I could just ignore them. Like the mission itself is actually to destroy the nest, but um, these guys are probably going to take umbrage with that. So I will be dealing with that later. Also, I just realized I actually did not turn my um, thing back on, so I'm not sure how long I've been recording. So we're going to call this an episode. Uh, might be short, might be long. Either way, uh, like, subscribe, comment below. Um, please, thank you. It's been awesome. This has been Vox Insanity.